Hello, hello, I'm Brenton, one of our MCAT tutors here at Inspira Advantage, where we help students get accepted in medical school and other professional programs. Today, we're focusing on enzyme inhibition, a pivotal topic for the MCAT. Enzymes as biological catalysts play a crucial role in metabolic processes. However, their activity can be modulated or inhibited by specific molecules. Understanding this inhibition is key in biochemistry, pharmacology, and disease treatment. For the MCAT specifically, you can expect anywhere from two to eight questions being based on enzyme inhibition. So this is definitely something you wanna make sure you understand. Let's dive on in. Enzymes accelerate chemical reactions in the body without being consumed. Inhibition occurs when certain molecules decrease enzyme activity, playing a crucial role in regulating different metabolic pathways. There are various types of enzyme inhibition you need to know for the MCAT, and each of them have unique characteristics and effects on enzyme kinetics. We're talking KM and different Vmaxes. If you haven't already watched our video on what the heck KM and Vmax means, go check that out now. Let's start with the easiest type of inhibition to understand, competitive inhibition. Competitive inhibition occurs when an inhibitor molecule competes with the substrate for the enzyme's active site. It increases the KM, the substrate concentration at which the reaction rate is half of Vmax, but it does not affect the Vmax at all. Vmax doesn't go up, it doesn't go down, Vmax stays the exact same. This is crucial for you to understand. The reason for this is just kind of statistics. As we zoom in on our picture here, we've got our inhibitor triangle blocking the substrate triangle. Well, if we just dump a whole lot more substrate in there, we can still have our Vmax being reached because statistically, an inhibitor is never going to bind. So let's try a quick example problem here. Consider an enzyme with a normal KM of two millimolar. When a competitive inhibitor is present, the KM increases to six millimolar. What happens to Vmax in this case? Well, Vmax will remain unchanged, right? We said it won't move. So Vmax stays exactly where it was for. Now moving on to non-competitive inhibitors. Here, the inhibitor will bind to an allosteric site, not the active site. This will cause a change in the enzyme's shape and function. This type of inhibition will decrease Vmax, but doesn't affect KM. So this is kind of the inverse of competitive inhibition. Again, let's do an example problem here. An enzyme exhibits a decrease in Vmax in the presence of a certain molecule, but the KM remains the same. What type of inhibition will this be? Well, if you've been paying attention, you'll know right away that this is a non-competitive inhibitor. Now let's talk about uncompetitive inhibition. This is a kind of unique form of inhibition because the uncompetitive un inhibitor will bind only to the enzyme substrate complex, and this will reduce both KM and Vmax proportionally. And finally for the MCAT, this is the last one you need to know, a mixed inhibitor. These can bind to either the enzyme alone or the enzyme substrate comp, affecting both KM and Vmax values. The effect on KM is gonna depend on whether the inhibitor has a higher affinity for the free enzyme or the enzyme substrate complex. To try and understand this, let's look at an example problem here. A mixed inhibitor shows an increased KM and a decreased Vmax when bound to an enzyme. What does this suggest about its affinity? Well, this should suggest a higher affinity for the free enzyme, similar to a competitive inhibitor. In conclusion, enzyme inhibition is a fundamental concept for the MCAT biochemistry section, as well as being absolutely vital for understanding many different physiological and pharmacological processes. Remember that competitive inhibitors increase KM but don't change Vmax, non-competitive inhibitors decrease Vmax, uncompetitive inhibitors decrease both KM and Vmax, and mixed inhibitors can variably affect both depending on their binding affinity. I highly, highly, highly recommend you make Anki cards with that exact information. And that's it for today's MCAT Byte on enzyme inhibition. Understanding these concepts is crucial for your MCAT prep and future medical studies. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time.